Hey guys, so <laughs> I think I always start the videos off with hey guys, so well anyways, hey guys. So <laughs> um I filmed this video actually last summer, right before I gave birth when we were getting ready to get our children, you know, set up for um remote learning. So instead of buying them desks I decided to make them these floating desks that will pretty much save space and kind of be out of the way so it doesn't add more furniture to their room you know what I mean so it uses a part of the room that is unused so a corner all right so what you're going to need is a two by two by two basically a square piece of plywood you can get finished or unfinished I got unfinished because you know it was cheaper but if you get finished it'll be a, just a tad bit more expensive you can measure and make this corner desk um, according to the size you want it to be so measure from one corner down say you want it to be six seven eight inches out mine is nine inches on both sides once i have the nine inches marked i'm gonna just make a little marking and then draw right across to make a straight line and then we're gonna cut that part off my husband was helping with this because you know the belly was getting really big and heavy and you know <laughs> making making things a little bit more complicated for me okay so we're just using a jigsaw i'm, I'm just gonna say he didn't cut it as straight as i would have liked <laughs> okay but I fixed it okay I fixed it all right so here we're using a one by two piece of wood you can get any type of wood um, I think this was I think this was two or three dollars all right we're gonna cut four pieces of this one by two piece of wood and they're all going to be about four inches in length all right we're going to use this to mount or mound mount the top part of the desk onto the wall so had my husband cut this with my little this is my molding saw so don't laugh at it it's not his saw all tools on here are mine <laughs> um, I do have a big girl saw but um, it was a little too rough and it was messing up the wood so we use this saw which is my um, saw from my trim kit that I got to cut wood to do miter cuts and stuff so it worked perfectly fine all right, so once you have your four pieces, you should be almost there and ready to go. Almost there, but we have one more step, okay? I must say I appreciate my husband helping with this one because the first desk I put up, this will be my second one. The one I, the first one I put up, I put up in my son's room. And um, yeah, that took a lot of energy out of me. So now for the front part of the desk because you know it is an unfinished piece of plywood and it has like layers to it like wavers so you don't want to leave it like rough like that so we're going to give the outer part of the desk or the front part of the desk a more finished look by using this piece of wood here it is a finished piece of wood i believe this was a, a half inch by two or a half inch by two by 36 okay but it is a finished smooth piece of wood I believe it was in the um, the craft section of the hardware store if my memory serves me right here I'm, I'm not 100% sure okay but you see how it looks it's not super thick it's also not super thin I believe it is a half an inch I could be wrong but I do know that it is two inches wide okay or at least an inch and a half wide yeah an inch and a half to two inches wide okay so once we have this we're going to use my um, miter cut kit I use this little contraption here to cut molding and you can make your 45 degree angle cuts with it and it comes with this saw all right so i believe the kit was twenty dollars in the hardware store 
okay you don't have to make the cuts like this but because I wanted a little design to this desk that's why I cut it like this okay so you can make this your own um, you can take inspiration from it it's you know make it your own it doesn't have to be exactly like what I did okay so you see now we have our 45 degree cuts and I'm gonna show you exactly how I'm going to put this so this will <laughs> I'm sorry, I grabbed that out of my husband's hand. <laughs> I was a little bit on edge. <laughs> Pregnancy hormones. <laughs> okay, so this is how it's going to be. This is how it's going to cover the edge of the desk. So it gives it more of a finished look. Okay, just like this. All right, you guys. You can also use some sandpaper to sand it. So now I'm going to measure the height of the desk. Okay. I think it was about 30 inches off the ground. I want to say 30 inches in height. You know, this seemed like more natural height for the kids. And once I got my measure measurements right, I used my um, level and a piece of wood to make my line, make sure it's nice and level. And I'm sorry if I made any mistakes in here talking. It is 1 o'clock in the morning and trying to get this voiceover done for you guys because I really wanted to show you this earlier in the year when school first started but um, you know still recovering from giving birth and taking care of a fresh baby and you know kinda kinda got put on the back burner okay so once I have my level correct and my lines are nice and level I'm gonna make my line to where my desk is going to go Okay, and then remember those wedges that we cut? This is how we're going to use them. So, I'm going to put one on each side, and this is going to hold our desk up. Alright, so I'm just going to make a little mark to help me remember where this piece of wedge goes. Okay, like a guide. You want to make a guide, okay? Because you can't see behind the wedge. Okay, so I make my little arrow this side up. Okay, and then you're going to need a drill with a small drill bit. It's very tiny. Get a drill bit that fits the screw that you choose to use. Okay, and as you guys could see, I drilled through the wedge and into the drywall. This way, my holes are lined up perfectly. Okay, and this is a drywall anchor. They come in kits where it comes with the anchor and the screws. You can check your local hardware stores. Some of them supposedly can hold up to 50 pounds. I got the one that can hold up to 50 pounds, but I would not put, you know, that much weight on here. I mean, I put enough anchors in, but, you know, I don't, I don't see my kids sitting on this desk, you know. They're saying that just two of these can hold 50 pounds. I don't know. I don't put trust in that. <laughs> um, so long as it can hold up some textbooks and a laptop, that's all I need. Or a Chromebook, that's all I need. So here's another way to, you know, keep yourself guided by making two lines on the side of the wedge to keep you in, you know, your space. You're going to put the um, anchor in and then you're going to put your wedge on the anchor and you screw it in you make sure it's nice and flush with the wall it has to be nice and smooth then you put your wedge and then you put your screw that came with your wedge or if you buy it separate that's totally up to you put your screws in and remember since we drilled through the wedge and into the wall our holes are already lined up my arrow is pointing up so i know i have my wedge in the right spot okay and make sure that it is lined up with the line that you made so that everything is nice and level like that all right so here I'm gonna do it again um, those holes on the left my husband tried to do one and I told him not to push too hard and he did and made holes in the wall so certain things I just prefer to do myself <laughs> all right so here's our plywood that we cut so you see can you see the vision now this is how it looks okay I just tapped it a couple times I wanted to make sure that you know things were secure so here's our plywood and here are the two pieces that we cut and we're just gonna glue this in the shape that I want you can do it in any design that you want you can cut this in any way that you want just make sure that when you um, 
you know, do your measurements that everything is equal on both sides. So you see those two corners that are angled up? Those corners are nine inches on both sides. They're nine inches long, okay? You're going to wait till this dries completely and then you can take your tape off and check it out. And then we have that piece of finishing wood, I, I wanna call it. And I have that in the front to give it a finished look. And I know you see that gap that my husband left there with the jigsaw. I'm gonna show you how I fix that, all right? So now we have our desk, quote unquote. And now I'm gonna show you how I mount it onto the wall. I'm gonna use my pencil, my handy dandy pencil, pull it away from the wall, have it touching the opposite wall, touching the opposite wall, pull it away, and then make your markings to where your wedges are so you know where to make your holes and where your screws are gonna go, okay? I think I made the camera, I think I put the camera a bit closer, here it goes. So you see, so it lines up, the two lines are where the wedges are and then to, the two dots are where I'm going to make my holes to put my screws. I'm gonna use my drill bit and drill in there. And this is a very small drill bit. I'm sorry, I can't, I, I can't tell you what size it is, but it's very small, it's very tiny, okay? It's not micro small, but it's small. Okay, once I have my hole, I'm gonna go in with my screw and screw down my desk. And as you guys could see, it's nice and flush with the wall. Right? So that's our first one, and we're gonna do our other two. And if you have any, like, you know, curve in the wall and there's a little gap, that's why they have caulk. You can put caulk in there and, you know, seal it up and it looks nice and neat. All right, so you guys see, I made my two drill holes, put my screws in. Just like that. And then vacuum and clean it up. Here's the fun part. If you want, you can let the kids, you know, make a design or whatever and I'm, I'm not gonna lie I was getting real hot this was in the middle of summer and this room faces the Sun so it's like super hot in here so my design was a little bit off it was a little wonky I'm not gonna lie it was a little wonky like one line was like nice and straight and then the other one had a weird curve in it I don't know I, I'm gonna blame the heat in the room it was messing with my tape <laughs> I don't even know why why the video is moving so weird do you see that I don't know, I don't know. Maybe something was going on with my camera. Maybe it was melting, I don't know. All right, here you guys see I'm filling the tiny little crack with my caulk from my caulk gun. You can get um, this, you can even get this in the dollar store, you guys. Just fill it in and it just fills in the cracks and you can even put some of this on top of the screw heads so you can hide them. And then that little crack that my husband left there or the uneven cut because it wasn't even so it left a little gap there. I also filled that in, okay? And I used my finger. You can use a little spatula if you like. Please be careful before you get a splinter in your finger, okay? So if you want, just use a spatula. But I used my finger and I smoothed it in there. Okay, once, once your caulk is dry, you're going to go in and paint. You can use whatever color paint you like. You can have fun with it, have the kids design it, make it, you know, the way they want. It's, it's totally up to you. You guys have fun with it. Um, me, sometimes I'm, I'm kind of like a, I don't want to say I'm like a control freak or anything, but um, when I'm doing DIY, I try to do most of it myself, or I like to just do it myself okay <laughs> that's just me it's relaxing to me and it's a, a de-stressor okay especially now being a mother of four i like doing my little projects myself because it helps actually relieve my stress all right once everything is nice and dry you can go ahead and pull the tape you can have the kids do the tape um or you can do the tape since you're the one that did all the work you know you don't you're the one that did it so you pull the tape you get the satisfaction of seeing your masterpiece okay if you have any mistakes go ahead and touch it up okay and that is it i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did give it a thumbs up comment down below and let me know what you guys think it looks like a floating 
desk in the corner. It kind of reminded me of one of these shows my kids watch. Um, there was this character in there that was shaped like this and it was floating. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, comment down below, let me know what you think, and share if you like. Love you guys. Bye.